a bill that could quadruple the size of the Okmulgee National Monument in Macon, passed both houses of Congress and is now headed to President Trump's desk. Remember, the 13W MAC poll asking if you've been to the monument is still open. Vote now in our app or online at 13WMAZ.com slash vote. Abigasaurus joins us live in the newsroom to explain what the expansion will look like. Yeah, Lori, that bill is a huge step for upgrading the Okmulgee National Monument to a National Historical Park status and expanding the size from 700 acres to 2,800 acres. Park Superintendent Jim Davis says that will draw more tourists and help them preserve more history. Jim David served as superintendent for the Okmulgee National Monument for 15 years. His dream for a bigger park and a national park designation are finally within reach. This area has been used since the Ice Age. There are very few places in the country that uh, have archaeological evidence of that long of a period of habitation. This map shows the land they're looking to acquire, mostly farmland and trees that belong to about a dozen people. David says when he first came up with the plan to buy some of the land, he contacted the landowners. He said that the Georgia Department of Transportation in Bibb County owns some of it, and they already agreed to donate it. We have committed to raising the money locally to buy these properties for, for fair market value. Lawyer Brian Adams serves on the Okmulgee National Park and Preserve Initiative. They estimate they need to raise two to three million dollars to buy other properties. The key is to get the community involved because while this is a nonpartisan effort, it is still a political effort and we were able to get the politicians attention by having a very loud voice in the community. Once the president signs the bill, Adams says they're planning fundraisers. They've already raised one million dollars and expect that the expansion could be completed in a year. Be able to walk all the way from Amerson Waterworks Park, perhaps all the way down to the Lamar Mounds. And phenomenal. David says the plans for a trail reaching from Amerson River Park down to the edge of the property could create a super trail and bring more visitors to Macon. David adds that they would love to add additional trails, another canoe ramp, along with the Okmulgee River right there, and be able to look at additional artifacts on surrounding properties. This is his last year before he retires, and he says he's just happy to see his dreams coming true. Frank Lori, back to you in the studio. All right, Abby, thank you. The National Park Service created the Okmulgee Indian Mounds National Monument back in 1934. The park preserves parts of the village created by Native Americans who lived on the site starting around 900 A.D. And in our 13 WMAZ poll asking if you've been to the Okmulgee National Monument and it appears yes, but not lately.